Good. I'm doing great. Good, good. Once again, we're here. It's been a long time. But it's good to see everybody in the raw face. Yes. You know, post COVID. Yes. And we made it. Thank, thank goodness for that. We made it. If everybody else out there has made it, good for you. So we're gonna go to a few questions. Okay. Okay. Because I see you got they got you in your flyers right now. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, they got you in your flyers. So how was the shoot today? Yo, Snub Magazine put together a marvelous shoot. And I'm one of the people who hates taking pictures, but they made it simple. They made it easy. And you've worked with me before. I agree. It's something about the energy and the mojo of the people you connect yes. me with because we're two for two right now with the dope shoots. But yeah, like, yo, shout out to everybody from top to bottom that made it great, from the makeup artist to the editor of the magazine to the shooters to the shoot the people that was helping the shooters to the people that like ran the creative space, man, it was a vibe. And by shooters, he means photographers. Just yeah, yeah, I know that means just different things. Yeah, 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 they yeah, didn't pull up with the case. sticks. It was more like they pulled up with the lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just had to make sure we clarify that for the gangsters out there. Mm -hmm. um, so, since pandemic and COVID, the whole world is completely different from the last time we've seen each other. What have you been up to? Uh, I got up to 245, okay. and then I started exercising, then okay. I got down, okay, so yeah, so yeah. I learned how to do a bunch of things, like I got better with my editing, like my, my writing game got okay. a little bit better as far as like the music space and even okay. like, um, even with some of the comedy stuff, because I was getting ready to like start doing like stand-up before the pandemic, and I did like two shows, and then the pandemic happened, and then nothing was funny anymore, like, so... Yeah. I wrote down a bunch of stuff that now I realize you can't say most of it because cancel culture is so strong. Yeah. Um, but even just in other creative endeavors, like I wrote like a short screenplay for a movie, um, like I got a cartoon I'm developing. So like I really like utilize that time to work is work on like creative things. You tapped in. Tapped all the way in. You tapped in. That's what we call tapping in. I think um, COVID was good and bad for most creatives. Yeah, like in the the supreme creators figured out how to hustle within the yes. pandemic. Yes, shout out to Versus because they really did it. Really, mm -hmm. really did it. So you just said that you did a, you, you wrote a small film, you did a cartoon, and stand up. Out of the three of those, what do you think is gonna be first for you in the future? Probably man, I'm like the way I'm feeling like this week at this moment, I'm really excited about like getting this cartoon thing fleshed out. Okay. Because it was an idea that I pitched before and some really important people liked it, okay. but then I got scammed by like, some Nigerians. Nothing against Nigerians, but it was actually, like the story's a story, right? Like yeah. some Nigerians scammed me. And I was like, man, I'm gonna do cartoons when we're done. So I took like, and then my mom died, and then, then I had a child, and Sorry. then pandemic. So like, I just put my head all the way down. But then one day I was looking over the script again, and I'm like, what are you doing? This is good. Okay, you took an L, you lost some money. Okay. Find a real person this time that lives in the states that you can physically go like you know talk to about the thing. Yeah. So that's why I'm at with it right now. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm trying to like fortify the the, the, the standard routine in a way where you won't get. It's just so weird because I grew up on some of the most freest people. The best. Yeah, like all the money. Yo, these people can do these things in yes. 2021. Yes. Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence, like everything that we found appropriate back in the day is no longer appropriate. So now I have to like recalibrate my thoughts because like you know I don't want it to be like grand open, grand closing. Yes, I can I can understand that. It is it is much more difficult now because there are certain things that um I don't want to say they're sensitive about, but they're sensitive about. It's getting to the point where like if someone was a ghost for Halloween, someone would be like, you're not a ghost. You're, you're, you're anti-spiritual. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the anti-word is going around. So yeah, I definitely, definitely understand that. Now the short film, what was that about? So I am a big fan of horror movies. And that was like one of my, me and my mom's biggest like connectivity points. Like we were big horror movie fans. Like the first movie I ever saw in movie theaters, if it wasn't Carbon Copy, it was this movie called Dead and Buried. So like for my whole life, I've always been a horror movie fan. So my manager hit me up one day, he's like, yo, like, you should write a movie or something. And I'd be like, yo, give me three days. Then I put my head down and like, I wrote like the whole joint, turned it in. She's like, yo, this is good. I included everything but the ending, because I didn't want to. It's one of those endings, it was like, oh, snap. So. Okay, it's not no was and hood type stuff. Nah, nah, man, like, I, yeah, like, I'm trying to really like, you know, be a player in the game. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, a Stephen King and John Carpenter. I know people like to throw Jordan Peele's name around, but like, yo, there's a lot of dope people who are making really creative horror films that's just not like hack and slash, hack and slash. You know what I'm saying? But it's like a psychological thriller. Yes. But also with the twisted stuff in it as well. So I can't wait to 
get this, you know, kind of blown up a little bit more in the fruition. Wait, 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 wait. I don't do the scary movie. Oh. I, I don't do scary. I don't understand the concept of sitting down and someone just tearing your nerves. And I don't. I don't understand. But the beauty of it all is when you leave, it's just the movie. It's all over. You ain't dating Atlanta, hell. I ain't. <laughs> oh, you gotta go home. Oh, I, get, I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the people that you date. Oh, no, 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 that's no, the whole movie yeah, with yeah, the selling yeah, those women tell yeah, me. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. So that. you have a whole family <laughs> and a boyfriend <laughs> and two dogs <laughs> <laughs> and two dogs. So let me tell you, I, I know what three words I use to describe you, but what three words describe you best? Um, introvert, extrovert, uh, confidently shy. But I merged that as one word. Like, there's no I see hyphen. I see. Yeah. It, he's a hyphen. I think he used a hyphen. Can Can we make it one word? Today, hyphen is uh, one today add it to the bonnets. We cheated the today. system. We did. We did. So what? Let's ask another question. Let's get to your business just a little bit more. Okay. I like to do that. If you could walk in anyone's shoes, past, present, or you know, in the future, not even, who would it be? I would have to say that I think being in Michael Jackson's shoes in the height of that whole thriller run what? has to be like one of the most amazing experiences yeah. ever. I mean, minus the Pepsi incident because that happened around that album. However, like you were like the one of the most polarizing forces yes. on the planet. Men fainting, animals fainting, children, like women, like everybody is like you're one of the most beloved characters of the world and you yes. made an album that even years later can't be outsold, can't be outdone, and you change the music game forever. No. Even though they, what were your thoughts on the subject? Just a little bit. But what were your thoughts on the recently said people try to compare Drake to Michael Jackson? Your thoughts on that? Um, let's just say if like you're a millennial, who was born in 1995, you never got a chance to experience big nose Michael Jackson like we have, right? You have no idea. So your frame of reference is the clearly Canadian, Drake, right? Mm -hmm. He's the guy. And he's been the guy for a minute, like since 2000. Nine and up, you know what I'm saying? So I understand where they're coming from. He's on his way. Because he's doing things that has not been done mm -hmm. in music since the Michael Jackson era in the Beatles. But when you think about Drake's whole catalog, what is Drake's thriller? He got joints, but what is his thriller? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have that yet. Mm -hmm. And I and I emphasize yet yeah. because he's proven that he's here to stay. So I salute the man. And like he's one of those dudes who gets it, because like a lot of times in hip hop, they're like, you can't be the go, you got ghostwriters. But in yes. order to stay long, yes. you need a team of people to help you craft that magic. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson didn't write them songs by himself. No. It was no. The, he had the whitest white man helping him. His name is Rod Templeton. Oh Rod, shout out to Rod. Mm. <laughs> shout out to Rod. So, um, and I'm glad you said that because I do know everyone knows hip hop is your thing, music is your thing. Oh, I love music. That's like my biggest passion. That's my one happy place. Like when I'm performing, doing shows, like, yo, there's no troubles in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, and, and good at it. Good at it. Shout out to the Bodega Brothers. Big up, big up. Yes. So, last but not least, what would you tell our viewers as a word of encouragement as we are coming out of, hopefully, we come out of the pandemic? Or just to keep on going, because sometimes you just need a word. Yo, all I gotta tell you is the wind starts from within. Like today is the day that you can do that thing that you've been putting off your whole entire life. You know, like, you know, what's the best way to get to where you're going? Start going. Start put one foot in front of the other and get it going. Why wait? Cause like we like to sometimes like, well, I'm gonna start on Monday. Why start at the beginning of the week when you have this idea now? Like, you know, I was putting off writing a movie for the longest time and my manager's like, yo, write a movie. He's like, okay, I'll start today and get it done. Cause like sometimes when you get in that spirit of procrastination, I have a week for like a magical day, I'll start at the beginning of the month. No, that's why the gyms always be so packed on Monday. Cause everybody wants to wait to the top of the week to get your body popping. And if you go to the gym like, if you know like we know, like yeah, gladiator tank on Monday, yeah. prison holding on Tuesday, you can get on any machine you want on Wednesday. Why? Because people give up. Cause everybody dog piles in on Monday. Start it today. You want to you learn how to sing? Crazy thing. I was just chilling and Facebook knows I'm a sucker, right? So you know they be advertising stuff to you. So there's this thing called monthly that I signed up for and it's a thing that teaches you whatever you want to learn really and you okay. take a class for a month. So instead of like waiting, I signed up right then on the spot and I took a class that taught me how to sing better in 30 days. Because I, I, I'm i not great. I'm not even Drake, singing. Okay. But I'm more confident than I was 
before I know how to sing for my stomach and not my throat now. And I could have procrastinated, but I did it that day. Do it. Yes. I tell people all the time, they're like, I want to wait for the right time. The only right time is the day you were born. That's it. Yeah. That's it. But thank you so much. Thank I can't so wait much. to see the cover. I see so much behind the scenes shots. You just, you know, you, you, you tap into your Aubrey with the whole model esque and everything. Oh, these are going to be like my funeral brochure pictures. I'm, listen. Listen. These, these are great. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be, it, like, he's not lying. Like, I'm literally like, that. There's a couple ones where I'm looking up towards the heaven and the lights hit me just right. That's the one. <laughs> you see his melanin is popping. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And I can find on social media. Yo, man, I'm so easy to find, like, racism. H-E-A-D-K-R-A-C-K on all social media platforms. Check out my album, Action Park. It's streaming right now, wherever you're stealing your music from. And I thank you in advance. And thank you. Now the sit-down is over with Snow Magazine.